This is how to change your mouse DPI to 800. So the first thing you want to do is find out what DPI you're currently using and what mouse you have. In my instance, I have a G Pro Wireless Super Lite, which is a mouse from Logitech. So Logitech has its own software that you can use to change your DPI. So the first thing you want to do is check if your mouse has a software. For example, in my case, I use Logitech G Hub. And right here I navigate to my mouse and right here I can just click and change the sensitivity to whatever I want. I use 400. If you use a Razer mouse, there is Razer software as well. I think this is the name. If you have just some random mouse and the manufacturer does not have a software for it, what you can do is measure to find out your DPI and then install a small application that you will use to tweak your DPI. Because if you go to mouse settings and then additional mouse options on the right and then pointer options, if you just increase this speed, you can see my cursor right now. When it moves, it moves in huge increments. The DPI of the mouse has not really changed. So basically your mouse, if you just increase this, your mouse is just going to feel more choppy the more you increase this. So for me, it's on six out of 11, it's default. So now to be able to measure your mouse's DPI, uh, you're going to type in DPA analyzer on Google. And the first link that pops up is going to be mouse-sensitivity.com. You should click on that. Now you're going to scroll a bit. What you need to do is get out some measuring instrument, be it a ruler or something else, and then select a target distance. For example, to me, I'm European, so this is default in centimeters. I will use 10 centimeters, for example. And then I'm just going to take my measuring instrument to 10 centimeters on my, on my mouse pad. And then I'm going to put my mouse on this red crosshair here, and I'm going to drag it to the right for 10 centimeters. And then I'm going to click and drag to the right. There we go. This is basically the measurement that I got, but we can definitely round this up to 400, which actually is my true DPI. And most mice anyways are going to be 400, 800, 1600, 3200, you know, it multiplies by two. So if you get like 450, it's still probably going to be 400 DPI, or if you get 850, it's going to be rounded up to 800. So now that you know that you're on 400 DPI or whatever number you get, open up a new tab and type in, go to Google and type in raw Excel. And the first page should be a GitHub page. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to click on releases page right here. And the latest release should be the first one that pops up. So you're just going to follow these instructions. So we're going to download this and then extract contents and then just install right here. This zip, we're going to click on that. Then I'm going to save to desktop. Then I'm going to open up this folder. All right, so this is how it looks. I'm just going to right click and extract to a folder of the same name. Then I can delete this, open up this folder. And now I'm going to click on installer, just double click that. I'm gonna press yes. And there we go, install complete. Change will take effect after we start. Press any key to close this window. So I just press anything. And then I'm going to restart my PC. Okay, so now that you have restarted your PC, you can actually run this little application. So the only thing you need to look at is the sensitivity multiplier right here that is highlighted. You can calculate your sensitivity multiplier, click on start and then type calc, and then enter and you're going to enter into your calculator, you're going to type 800, which is your desired DPI, and you're going to divide it by whatever you have as your DPI. And that is the number that you will put in here. And click apply. 
and there we go in my case it's double and now every time you run windows just run this little app you can make a shortcut on your desktop for it and just run it and click apply with your multiplier and that is it